Did you know that CE certification is required when shipping machines overseas, and that over 50% of products fail first-time EMC testing? Enerdor is a global leader in electromagnetic compatibility testing with over 30 years of experience. Today, we will be discussing high-frequency electrical emissions related to CE compliance testing with a focus on conducted emissions. When testing a machine for electromagnetic compatibility, or EMC, measurements need to be taken of electrical noise that unintentionally leaves the system. These measurements are taken two ways, by conducted and radiated emissions. Conducted emissions are a measurement taken of electrical noise in decibel microvolts that is put back onto the main line when the machine is cycling. Radiated emissions are a measurement of that same noise, but the measurement is taken in free space at different points around the machine. Today, we will be focusing on conducted emissions and showing the results of testing with and without an Enerdor filter installed. These are the limits for a variable frequency drive used in an industrial environment, taken from the EN61800-3 standard. And these are the limits for an entire industrial machine from the EN61000-6-4 standard. While the VFD on its own may meet its individual limits, the limits for an assembled machine are lower. Therefore, it is incorrect to assume that using all CE-marked components will result in a CE-compliant machine. Testing must be performed on the machine as an assembly to ensure compliance, regardless of the compliance of its individual components. When doing a conducted emissions test, the equipment under test, or EUT, is connected to power through a line impedance stabilization network. This listen allows the test engineer to measure the noise levels through an EMI receiver. Measurements are taken of the peak and average values from 150 kHz to 30 MHz and compared against quasi-peak and average limit lines. If the peak value goes over the quasi-peak limit line, a narrow band quasi-peak measurement is performed to ensure the actual value is not over the limit. Here is a scan of the machine without any solutions applied. As you can see, both the peak and average measurements are well over the limit lines, so this machine would be considered non-compliant. In this scan, a line reactor is installed in the machine right before the VFD. There is some improvement, but not enough that the machine would be considered compliant. This last scan shows an Enerdor EMI filter installed after the main disconnect. With the EMI filter, both measured values are now under the limits, and the machine is compliant with the conducted emissions test. A common misconception is that installing a line reactor will solve high-frequency noise issues. A line reactor is not the best solution for this problem because it is designed to work in a lower frequency range. An EMI filter is the best solution for this because it has both inductive and capacitive components designed to work together in order to filter out high frequency noise. We here at Enerdor hope this video has helped explain the process and provided some solutions for the conducted emissions portion of CE compliance testing. Enerdor has over 30 years of EMC experience and our flat rate on-site testing with a guaranteed passing solution is unique in the industry. We also offer free consulting. So if you have questions, are looking for more information, or just want to get your CE process started, visit us at enerdor.com or email us at info at enerdor.com.